Tuz Dingo! Yes! Hey guys, Jarrett here, aka Misohani, back in with another video. And today we're going to talk about the deck that I made Legend with in Wild. I ended up climbing with Pirate Rogue and a mix of even Totem Shaman and obviously the Aggro Demon Hunter deck that I made a video for a few videos back. Uh, ended up going 19 and 11 with this deck. Uh, I was off to like a really good start. I was like 14 and 6. And then I hit like a skid of like five straight losses, but then ended up hitting five straight wins. And just, you know, the decks, sometimes you're going to hit those swings and it happens. So uh, you just got to kind of push through it and try not to get too tilted. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty straightforward deck here. Uh, the deck used to run uh, Smothering Starfish. Now that it got nerfed here, it most decks don't play it so they're adding in the second puffer fist the deck used to only play one now there's two because it's really good against totem shaman it's really good in the mirror and it's really good against paladin right now so and those are like those are probably like three of the the top four decks in the format right now that you're gonna see the most often on your climb up um you can even add in like Beast Hunter in there. It's good against Beast Hunter also. So, it, like, those are probably like four of the six or seven best decks in Wild right now. So, yeah. So, it's just a really good card right now. It seems like its stock is going up. So, you play two Puffer Fist. The mulligans for the deck are pretty obvious. You want one of these one drop pirates that are not named Patches the Pirate. Most of the time that you're, you're mulliganing for Buccaneer or Filet Fighter, and then you really want like a Parachute Brigand, or a Shiny Finder, or a Ship's Cannon, and your mulligan. And then, hopefully, you know, if you Swordfish, you're going to find like a Cutlass Courier. That way you can get, you know, the two swings in while you have Courier on the board. That way you just keep the, uh, the chain of pirates moving. Move it along here and keep that damage going here. The least important card in this deck, I'm, I'm going to say, is definitely Mr. Smite. If you don't have Mr. Smite, you know, you can play something else in that spot. Um, I've seen some people still play Starfish. Uh, you could play possibly, you know, one of the tradables. Uh, maybe like a backstab if you absolutely need to do that. Or even at like a shadow step, maybe. Uh, but I, to me... Actually, the card that I, I really want to try out in this deck is Door of Shadows. Uh, because you you only have four spells in the deck. You have two Secret Passage and you have um, two Cutting Class. So this is just going to draw you more cycle and it's cheap and it's, you know, pretty... Pretty, uh, pretty good utility. So I, I want to try that out eventually. We'll see when I get to that point. Um, but... Anyways, guys, I'm just going to get right into the games here. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I would need a swordfish for that. His hands. And they're looking like it's a coin turn three secret passage. I was kind of hoping that they were like Shadow Priest but they're not in the way it looks. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like they're, they're Res Priest. Res Priest with Spear. I know some decks can play this, but I don't think it's very good. I think I'm only gonna play one play here. I wanna hold the coin, because I, I really need the turn three Swordfish. Especially in this matchup. This matchup is not very good. This is a good sign. That he's using. Hopefully, he didn't uh, illuminate a. Here. Sadly, I have to go down like this. 
the next like my next turn is already picked for me pretty much. The only way that it's not is <sighs> I I don't even know what I would have to draw. I would have to draw like a buccaneer or something with him playing uh, something that would be like really irrelevant. So it's possible that this first card here is Shadow Essence, and he's going to reduce its cost, which isn't. I mean, it's still not good for me. I wonder if he plays Sphere, if that means he plays no, uh, uh, the, uh, what is it, the Shadow Cloth Needle? Mind Games. Enjoy the 3 3. Well, that kind of changes things here a little bit at least. Oh, man. I'm going to take the charge damage here. And I am going to trade. That may look a little bit weird, but it makes, like, Spirit Watch slightly worse for him. If he Palm Reading and one of his cards in his hand is Shadow Essence, I have one more turn before he Shadow Essence. And if he does Shadow Essence on turn 5, hopefully he gets Neptune on that's kind of the hope here. Otherwise, I'm going to be really behind my 8-ball. He also hasn't filtered any of his draws yet, which is also not a good sign. I have to... I think I have to coin here in Secret Passage. I am going to play this first, obviously. And then we'll go ahead and Secret Passage. I don't even know really what I'm looking for. I guess more dudes is nice. Uh, so... Yeah, we'll go three drops. Alright, so if he Neptulon's here, he gets to kill two of my dudes. But I actually win the game, because I have plenty of damage here if he goes Shadow Essence. So now he's kind of actually forced into uh, playing... He's got to play like a removal spell for like slightly cheap. I don't even know if, like, Spirit Latch would get him out of this. Penance. Penance heal does not do it. At least I don't think it does. Like, I attack here first. Right? Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I have 15 damage here right now. So. That's gonna do it. That was like, sadly, not a very interesting game, but... are pretty good here. The only thing that I would really want is a... I kind of want a, a Brigand here. But I'm going to keep this hand. I really would like a Swordfish too, but Puffer Fist against Even. If it's Even Shaman, Puffer Fist is like... We have turned our curse into our strength. In my experience against this deck, it has annihilated this deck. Feed the fish, like, this deck just does not have a good time. And if he doesn't have the... He has to have, like, Carving Chisel or Eel here. His Carving Chisel. Yeah. So... One drop here would be really good. If not, oh, Ship's Cannon's also pretty good here. Uh, do I, I don't know if I go Ship's Cannon or if I just... I don't go Ship's Cannon. So this is also going to seem like a weird play, but it actually opens up my options for the following turn. 
if I draw a swordfish, I'm probably going to play the swordfish. If I don't draw the swordfish, I can go ship's cannon, uh, pop something for a damage, and get a ship's cannon out of it. If I draw a brigand, that's really good. Or if he decides, if he hits like two more ones here, then I would obviously go like puffer fist, swing, take care of him, and, you know, see myself out the door. Uh, here, it's going to be a little bit of a, a weird play where, well, <laughs> now, now I am going to play, I have to kind of play like I, I have it, but now I'm kind of thinking here, I would have to swing with this anyway, so it makes my puffer fist worse next turn. Um... I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go... I am going to go swordfish. I'm going to take this. I'm going to control the board a little bit. Even though my deck is almost purely based around going face, I want to deny him some totems here. Oh, man, he didn't hit any more ones. Okay, this is set up really well for me. Oh, hit a 1-1. One, one. It probably the best totems that he could have hit. Um, this is okay though. Like, I just go like this, and then I go like this. I slap this for six. I really want to hit this one three really badly, but I know I shouldn't. I should hit this. Um, the reason why here is just solely because I want to force him to have to attack with this to trade if he's going to trade. And right now it doesn't really promptly trade with anything uh, reasonably well here. Let's hit another one. Oh, but he does get a party favor totem. All right, so if I hit a one or a two drop pirate here, it's really good. It's not a one or a two drop pirate. So I'm gonna go like, oh, I should do this for a straight. Oh, actually, I just... No shiny. Give me that. Let's clear the board. I, I was being ignorant there. I don't know why I was thinking... I, for some reason, I was thinking... Thinking badly. Uh, he probably has, like... I was going to say, he probably has some Gigan totems, so it's, now it's just going to be like a race of... Ah, uh, man, now he's two. And he gets to slap here, man. Jeez, um, cut me some slack. All right. Well, that's actually a really good draw. So I think I'm gonna put the. I have to put the buccaneer on the top. I think I don't have a choice in that matter. And then I have to play this. That was actually a really good draw. Um, and I play this. Let's see where this damage goes. Is that enough? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's close. Ah, oh, man. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna go with a, like a small little half measure here, and then we'll hit. I mean, he, he only needs three damage here. I understand that. Oh, he's evolved me. He's evolved me into some taunts. Ah, uh, man. That sucks. Yeah, he just had a really good hand. And, like, my hand... My hand was bad, but it wasn't like the, uh... 
anything to write home about, really. So... Valera versus Nemzi. I'll shine no matter what. Remember my blades. Well, this hand is terrible. Uh, the only thing that's good in it is the shiny finder, and I would have to assume he's either even lock or he's the Renathal deck, the Renathal curse deck that's been going around because of No Hands Gamer playing it and Zeddy. Getting 12 wins on the ah, roll, ah, yeah. I see you uh, this hand was terrible, too, by the way. I don't even like, want to play a pirate here. Like, I don't feel like the need to burn the coin. He thought about playing something here, so he clearly has a two drop. Um, probably, if I had to guess, it was probably Dirty Rat. So far, every time I've been Dirty Ratted with this deck, it always pulls Buffer Fist, and they have a, a really sad time. This is actually a really good draw. Now I'm going to be able to build the board. I'm going to be able to draw. Uh, I'm going to take the Mr. Smite here. Cold, sharp, steel. Next turn is going to be really good for me. <clears throat> it's important too to note, like, like with the last game, like s some games aren't going to go your way. Like, that's typically it's a pretty good matchup for me, but more bones. To if they ever get that on. ball moving, like they did last game, it's really hard to. Uh, kind of pull yourself out of that. Um, I have a decision to make here, and my decision is, do I want to draw cards? And the answer is yes. And then the other question is, do I want to trade anything in uh, to get rid of a one health so minion? And up. that answer is no. So I think what I want to do here is, I'm actually going to play this. Actually, you know, Blood and plunder. Play this, and I'm gonna play this, and I'm actually gonna trade in my two in here. Uh, I just want to draw as many cards as possible to keep this ball of moving here. Essentially, um, kind of waiting for him to play like a soul rend. Oh my god, he actually hit something other than that. Alright, so does he have like. Let me just drag the load. This wasn't very good for him. Um, now I just get to go like this. And I think this is a turn I want to puffer fist. Actually, surprisingly enough I kind of want to go secret passage here but I don't think I have to secret passage this turn I think secret passaging next turn is just as good it does pour her pour that damage in um what I'm actually gonna end up doing here is I'm actually gonna trade in my three one it's gonna that, that seems really weird to do but the reason why I'm doing that is I want to play around Defile a little bit. And this is still like a board that he, he would have to solar end. So I don't really feel like playing into like Defile and then like a Touch or a Drain Soul on this. I want him to have to burn more mana essentially to uh, get back in the game. Which he definitely can get back in the game here. Like I said, I'm probably going to have to Secret Passage. 
here on this turn six. So, Lady Dark Bane could be terrible for him. I don't think there's any other way I could get snuck in one damage though. So. How did this work? Did he? Oh, it hit. It actually did. It hit my uh, my dude. Cool. So it just gains him enough life. Or goes up to ten. No, he's still dead. Yeah. Dance. None will survive. Yeah. For the tour, reporting for duty. The light dims, but we fight. For duty. Reporting for duty. Mount! 
top. Earlier. Mount up. Eventually we'll hit the puffer fist, hopefully. Especially with this cutlass courier, but if we don't reporting for duty. Reporting I for need duty. It now. Is this gonna get him another tour guide? He was like tour guide, hero power, quartermaster, we're pretty dead. You here for the tour? Yeah. Quartermaster. Reporting for duty. I see. Oh, okay. Trade. I wonder if this is Righteous Protector or Animated Broomstick. The light dims. Righteous Protector. It's better news. Reporting for two. You didn't have it last turn. There's no reason why you did this. So it doesn't draw anything. I think it is. Wow. I can't believe we got there. Vista, baby.